I want to give you a visual demonstration of the EMF radiation that's coming from your computer when you use the Wi-Fi. It's super fun, I think, and it's interesting to see. This is an RF meter that measures the radio frequency fields that come from wireless and measures it in units called microwatts per centimeter squared. Now that's a standard American unit. What you're seeing is the instantaneous peaks of the radio wave. So to make this exposure clear, I'm going to switch it to max so you can see the highest measurement right now as I use my computer to to access the Wi-Fi. So let me do that. Signals vary by computer, by time and location, but there will most definitely be a signal because that's how wireless works. So the highest reading I've gotten just now is 11.09. So now let's turn off the Wi-Fi, connect the wire, and do the same exercise again. Okay, wow, look at this. Now the highest reading is point. 8.05. Wow, that's good. Why? Because we really don't know what being exposed to these radio frequency fields does to our bodies. The World Health Organization came out with a big report in 2011 saying this radiation emission could be a possible carcinogen, but it could also be doing something else. We just don't know how this energy interacts with our bodies. I'm what they call electromagnetic hypersensitive. They say that actually three to 5% of the population is, and if you are, you could be getting symptoms from headaches to dizziness to anxiety. And now that's not me, but I actually can feel the energy. My fingers tingle when I hold a phone or when I touch a wireless keyboard. And the way I like to think about it is just because you might not be sensitive doesn't mean it's not affecting you or your kids. So it's not hard to take a bit of a precaution. Use a wired connection whenever you can. And this is even more important for kids because their brains and their immune systems are still developing. Remember, this energy comes from all wireless and the easiest precaution is to put distance between you and the culprit, you and the device. And I'll show you how to do that in other videos. Until then, thanks for watching. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up.